Hey everybody, Ray Lindsay from Parter Pro. Super excited to talk about the new SkyTrack Plus today. We're actually gonna be doing some comparisons testing. So biggest thing we're excited to do is test it against the Unicore IXO, or the IXO. Um, in our studio here, we actually have the IXO. You can't see it on the screen, on the camera, but we do have it set up up top. Really nice thing about that is that they're both camera-based systems. Uh, new for the SkyTrack Plus is the new Doppler radar for club data. So that's why we went ahead and used the uh, IXO as a, to, as a baseline. A couple things we're gonna be going over today is we set some baselines. We're using altitude at 2300 for both systems. Uh, we're using the same golf ball, which is the Strixon Z-Star, no dots on it. Um, I did go ahead and put the stickers on the club for the Unicore IXO. Um, biggest thing here too is we are gonna be reading the numbers for the carry distance, ball speed, club, launch, and spin, okay? So that's why we got the, the data on, or the stickers on the, on the golf clubs. Cool thing about this today is it's just gonna go right through the numbers back and forth, and it's gonna give everybody an idea as to the accuracy of both systems. I'm pumped about this. Let's just go ahead and jump right in it. I am putting the number of the, the number on the golf ball directly facing the ST plus and uh, basically going to be kind of dancing around the, the, the red laser that's on the floor here, but predominantly going to be right on it. All right, first shot here. All right, a little draw up top. All right, so carry distance on this guy here on the ST Plus is 130 yards, on the Unicore 132. Launch angle 27 degrees versus 29 and a half. Spin 77.47 versus 83.33, so a little off there. Uh, ball speed's dead on at 101 versus 101 here. Uh, club speed is at 70, or let's just call it 79 versus 81. So pretty good matrix or metric so far. And let's just jump on to the second shot here. A little scoopy high shot. Not one of my best, but that's okay. All right, let's look at the numbers again. We got on the ST Plus, we got 131 versus 135. Um, launch angle again 27 on the ST plus versus 29 and a half. Let's just call it 30. Spin 77.47 and 79.23 on the Unicore IXO. Ball speed pretty much dead on again at 102 versus 102. And club speed, club head speed is uh, 82 versus 80 on the Unicore. All right, let's hit one more with the pitching wedge. Maybe put a better strike on this one here. Miss Reed, that's okay. <laughs> We've been testing this out. This is actually the first uh, Miss Reed we got here probably in a while, but no big deal. Let's just go ahead and reshoot it and see what we got. I like the shot better anyways, Tim. No big deal. All right. So carry distance on this last one here, again, in slight draw, uh, 131 yards total distance versus 136. And uh, launch angle, again, 27 on the ST plus versus, um, my apologies, 29 on the Unicore. And uh, 8,000 spin on the ST plus versus 84, 14. Ball speed pretty darn close at 102 versus 103. Club head speed, again, 81 versus 81. So pretty, pretty close numbers. The carry distance seems to be a little longer on the Unicore, but again, we're gonna compile this data and uh, see exactly at the end how it all looks. So let's go ahead and change the club to the seven iron. One thing I did wanna note as Tim kind of just sets it up for me here 
is with the new SkyTrack Plus, the one thing that I really enjoyed using is actually the shot optimizer. Tim's going to get into more detail on that on the instructional video and um, I'm really excited to see that video and, and get a little bit more in depth there. But I really have enjoyed using that, that metrics on here, but for obviously for speed purposes today, we're not going to go ahead and do that. But as you can see here, it pops up for you and it gives you basically a, a red, red, orange and a green and basically green being an optimized uh, shot pattern there. So again, Tim's going to get into details on that. So let's go ahead and hit some seven irons, see how she goes. All right. Big pull. So 168 yard carry distance versus 170. Launch angle is pretty darn close at 21, uh, 21 degrees and 22 on the Unicor. Spin 51.50 and 51.80, pretty close there. And uh, ball speed 115 versus 115. And then club head speed 86 versus 83. So great numbers first shot. And uh, let's go ahead and hit a couple more here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a better swing here. Little toey, 154 yard carry versus 154. Launch angle 21 versus 22. Spin is at 5196 versus 5413. Ball speed is at 107 versus 107. And uh, club head speed is at 86 versus 84. So again, guys, the numbers are really, really close. Been an impressive, uh, an impressive comparison so far. Um, one last shot here, and we're just going to go ahead and put a good swing on this one, last one. <laughs> Wanted to play the big draw. It's more of my ball flight that I'm used to. As you could tell, the yards are a lot more optimal. <laughs> so 82, 182 yards distance versus 182 on the Unicor. Wow, it's pretty good. Launch angle 19 degrees versus 21 and a half. Uh, the spin rate's 57.23 on 56.24. Ball speed's at 124 miles an hour. And the Unicor's at 126. And lastly, the club speed, 93 mile an hour club head speed versus 88. So a little discrepancy on the club head speed, but ultimately the numbers look pretty good. Tim's been shaking his head, couldn't believe how accurate they are and uh, how close. So I'm really excited to go over the numbers at the end. Last um, but not least, let's go ahead and just jump in the driver. And we're using a new T here. Thanks, Tim. So the way I've been setting up the, the driver with the SkyTrack, again, I'm pointing the number the number and the logo of the golf ball right onto the screen and just putting it slightly behind the dot and I think that's been the best mo most consistent spot for it you know some people have been trying moving it around I just like the fact that that dots there it's a good reminder may as well just stay consistent so let's just jump right in it and uh, hit a couple good good drivers and end this on the right note here Okay, so 255 carry. Looks like we got some discrepancy here a little bit. But we've got 255 carry distance on the ST Plus. The Unicorn's got me at 272 in a carry distance. So that's an interesting number. Launch angle's at 14, Unicorn's at 15, spin rate's at 3000. And uh, the Unicor is at 29.15, so within 100. Ball speed's at 150 dead on, and the ball speed on the Unicor is at 154. Club head speed's at 108. So I'm, I'm taking that the ball speed is the discrepancy on the carry distance. Tim's shaking his head there. So let's go ahead and hit another one here.
should be a big cut. Perfect. Glad I pulled that off. Great. So the cut distance on the ST Plus is 247. On the Unicor is at 252. Launch angle 17 versus 19 on the Unicor. Spin on the ST Plus is 36.93 versus 36.32. So again, really close on spin. Ball speed again is at 150 and the Unicor is at 152. Club head speed is exactly the same at 103. All right, let's wrap this up. One more swing on the driver and that'll conclude the testing for um, the ST Plus versus the Unicor. So last swing of the day. And uh, figured I'd jump on one a little bit more on this one. And uh, so there you go. So jumped on this one a little bit. And uh, the carry distance is 285. We'll call it total with, with roll on this one because I just want to brag a little bit about this. I'm just kidding. But 312 total. But um, the carry distance is 285. And this is interesting, is on the Unicor, as you can see on the screen, it's actually 299 yards in carry distance. Launch angle, again, 14 degrees, a little lower on the SkyTrack. 14 versus 16, almost 17 degrees. And the spin rate on this one is interesting at 28.57 versus 26.05. So super, super close. I like that. Ball speed's at 163 miles an hour versus 165 and last but not least the club head speeds at 111 mile an hour versus 111 mile an hour very very accurate testing so far there are some discrepancies on some some odd shots but ultimately um, you know the responsiveness of the SkyTrack Plus has been an impressive one so far I really like a lot of the things that they've added but to bring the comparison side by side is, uh, is probably the best way to see whether or not uh, we like the unit. But we're going to let you guys decide that based on the information we're giving you. If you guys want to talk more about this, please don't hesitate to reach out to us anytime. 1-877-417-2161. Or you could just reach out or go on our website, www.partapro.com. Thanks a bunch. Love having you guys watch us. Please don't forget to like and follow, click on the links below. We have some great content coming out. We're gonna be trying to post more and more videos coming forward, but we'd love to hear your comments on some videos that you guys would love for us to put on as well. So let's keep this interactive. We'll see